Well, the Kitchen Inc. in Springfield is dedicated to helping the homeless here in the Ozarks. And Malia mm -hmm. Spencer, the CEO of the Kitchen Inc., is with us today. It has been a busy week for you guys over there. Um, the opening of the O'Reilly Family Campus near mm -hmm. Chestnut and Glenstone yep. is now up and running. It is. So congratulations, Thank first you. of all. Thank you so much. Go ahead and talk to us about this project and what this new campus looks like. Gosh, yes. Well, first of all, this new campus has been in the works for several years. We knew it was something that we needed at the kitchen because, you know, we've been on Commercial Street mm -hmm. for 35 years, actually, and we've been in some old buildings during those 35 years that need to be modified and um, needed some little bit of upkeep to them, mm -hmm. too. So uh, about five years ago, we really started talking seriously about, hey, what does the future of the kitchen look like? Where are we going to be at? And what can we do? Do we modify these buildings or do we build brand new. And uh, after looking at what it was going to cost to kind of rehab some of those facilities, we found out we could do it a heck of a lot less if we just built new. Mm -hmm. And we could bring some really great things to the community and the clients that we serve. So um, we started sitting down talking about, hey, what's working well? What's not working well in our current buildings? And focusing on the emergency shelter portion of it, right? And so we house about 50 people. We can house 50 people at one time in our emergency shelter. And so so we started talking about how to use maximum space, right, in, um, in a very short amount of space mm -hmm. or a small amount of space, and talking about design and what that looked like. And we got Stephanie Ireland, CEO of Ireland Architects, involved. And man, she has a heart for the homeless and wants to help in our community. And she sat down with all of our case managers. And what she did was come up with this fabulous design that said, okay, we can take a small footprint, but we can make it into a fabulous home for our individuals. And and she took um, the concept of RV design, the concept of hotel design, you know how they can have um, adjoining rooms and mm -hmm. how they connect. And then she also took the design of tiny homes and how can we use every space in there to maximize the potential. And she developed this new emergency shelter that is literally, I kept on hearing from our grand opening from the people coming through is, wow, I want to live here. Mm -hmm. I would love to live here. And so it's, it's been a labor of love, but man, it's been so worth it all along the way. And we should talk about who is eligible to come to this emergency shelter. Yeah. What's the program like? Yeah. And obviously some families are involved in this and children as well. Yeah, absolutely. We actually have a lot of families that come to us through our emergency shelter. In fact, last year we housed 91 individuals and 31 of those were kiddos under the age of 18. So lots of families in our mm -hmm. emergency shelter. So the folks that are coming to us um, all come through one door. You know, that's our collaborative effort in our community for anyone that's looking for any type of um, housing assistance or if they're homeless, they first go to one door on 300 East Central and they fill out an assessment there, right? And based on their needs, then um, one door refers them to us at the kitchen. They may be going into one of our permanent housing programs or they may have an immediate need for the emergency shelter. So for example, we have a family right now who are living out of their car. There's five of them, and we know that we needed to hurry up and get them in mm -hmm. to um, some, some type of shelter. So they're with us in our emergency shelter, and we're working with them now to get into permanent housing. And so that, that's a great thing that we can do. We're mm -hmm. not, they're, the folks that come to us for our emergency shelter, they're only with us for about 90 days. We're working really, really hard for them from day one to say, okay, housing, 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 because it is the key. And we yeah. want to get them into permanent housing in our community. And this is such a needed thing. It affects our whole community, really, and yeah. the community should participate in helping get the homeless um, off the streets as well. This is just phase one. It so is. explain phase two to me. Yeah, so eventually we are all going to be off of Commercial Street, and we will all be together um, with our rare breed, you know, uh, building just right down the street from us, not too terribly far away. So we'll all kind of be really easy access to each other. And so our administrative building um, will actually be called the Sam and June Hamra Support Services Building. They gave the lead gift on that phase two portion of it, mm -hmm. and that building is going to house all of our 26 case managers. So those those are the real heroes that are doing the hard work every day. They work one on one with our clients, and they're they're addressing barriers that got them to homelessness, um, got them into poverty, and they're helping break that cycle. And we stay with them during their program. So we want want to make them successful, right, and continue on. And so all those 26 case managers will be housed in our new support services building. We've got some great conference rooms planned so we can collaborate well with all of our partner agencies and make it more more streamlined.
streamline process for it. And then on the upstairs is where all of our administrative staff is going to be, where my office will be, and some of our other directors. And then we'll have our boardroom up there too that can also be used for a large conference room where we can really get some work done for the kitchen. And before we go, want people to know how they can help. Yeah. Um, you guys are still accepting donations. I know it takes money to make yes. all this happen. So yes. what's the way to do that? Man, there are so many ways to get involved. But first of all, you can contact us at 417-837-1500 or go to our website at www.thekitcheninc.org. There you're going to find a list of all the things that we need. And as cold weather is hitting us right now, mm -hmm. we need some blankets, we need some tarps, and we desperately need some men items. Larger gloves, larger hats right now. And then um, you'll find a list of like basic needs like toilet paper, paper towels, personal items like that, things that we run through quite regularly, and that's a great way to help us out as okay. well. Okay, we'll put that information up in this story. And thank you so much for being here. Gosh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. It's a great project, and I know a lot of people are excited to help and see that this is moving forward in the next phase as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Thank right. you. We'll